All right, welcome back. Matt Eisman is... That was the machine. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy Bert. Yeah, Bert I, I don't know how he is still alive. That guy, literally, I was just with him at the comedy store in in L.A. on a Tuesday, and his drink order was, uh, can I get a double, double vodka and soda? He, he got two, and this was just like in the middle. And I'm like, it's Tuesday, Bert. He's like, yeah, I'm, I know, I'm taking it easy. I was like, wow, no, he's, you are he's the machine. He's known as the machine. He's got to he live is. up to that. Yeah. He does. His career seem, it seems to be doing okay right now, too. He so just hired a marching band to announce his tour yeah. dates, <laughs> and he was in a Speedo. And I'm like, good for you, but your daughters are going to be scarred, machine. Yeah. What was, what? What was what he, when he was in town, when he was here last, I think he told us he was uh, one of his favorite things to do is do call into work six shows, and it's just basically like if he's in town on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. on like a Friday at noon, he does a show somewhere and just has everybody show up and get hammered. That's yeah. like Doug Benson will do that. Mm -hmm. the the smoke out the 420 show and, and it's like awesome but I, the people i gotta imagine the audience it's like they're catatonic <laughs> <laughs> he is that guy they, well, they that's, smoke. A, that's a good gimmick everybody every, everybody's stoned everybody thinks yeah. everything's fun did yeah. you have fun that's true yeah, Great time. Yeah. Everything's they fun. answer an hour later <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a buffet there yeah. too. You have All to. Right, have Matt food. Eisman, uh, host of American Ninja Warrior, host of Live Rescue, Celebrity Apprentice winner, Emmy winner, lip sync battle competitor. Oh, I mean, you lip sync battle champion. Oh, and, and it's champion. important. Well, it's important to mention I won because if you haven't seen it, you can look me up. I was share, and I'm a big guy. I was an enormous share. I was like six ten in high heels, and I'm in a leather. I was in the turn back time share outfit, oh, yeah, which didn't yeah, leave yeah. much of the imagination. I had to use duct. Tape Tape on certain parts mm -hmm. to keep everything secure. Is that the one from the battleship? That's where that's yeah, where okay, she's straddling the, oh, the gun. Is Harder oh, butt cheek show in there? Yes, my mm -hmm. butt cheek. And the best part is in the show, my 80 year old parents were in the audience, mm. and my dad's looking at his son, the former doctor, <laughs> looking at his chair, and he just looked like, "Take me now, yeah. <laughs> take me now, God." I must be proud. Yeah. But, but I won. You, you're at the uh, you're at the Funny Bone yeah. uh, this weekend. You got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, 7:30 and 9:30. Uh, Patrico's got the video oh, up here. My oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> I, I looked at it, and I'm, I'm I just sorry, I kept thinking, share. like, oh, oh, oh sure, great big fat person. I, I look oh, like boy. Silence of the Lambs. A little Joey Ramone, too. A little, yeah. little Joey Ramone. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm going to close that. It up. almost looks yeah. like you should be in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Frankenfurter. <laughs> I, 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 there's a lot of duct tape. Yeah, there, there's wow. it's uh, you can't unsee it. I'm just going to warn people there. Oh, oh man. You are a very it, talented uh, person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good way to meet and women. Brave. Hey, let me show you something, ladies. I'm let's, comfortable with my feminine side. Let's talk about uh, Live Rescue for a second. Yeah. I I'm a huge fan. Huge Thank you. Huge fan of that show. It's, it's been unbelievable. For, for those who don't know, if you know Live PD, uh, where they follow cops, we, we do the same, but we are following first responders, paramedics, firefighters, uh, EMTs, and like we said, we follow the St. Louis Fire yes. Department. And it's amazing when you watch these people, the, the thing, you, you you see clips. You see clips on Facebook or mm -hmm. on the news, and it's 90 seconds, maybe a couple minutes. But when you get to spend a couple hours with people and see what they go through on a shift, and the cool that's stuff what, is that's what the amazing thing saving is. lives are amazing, but what I love is when you see them just treating people like humans. And, and Letitia Vaughn here in St. Louis, she's unbelievable. She's a paramedic, and this is someone who, who just, you see her go above and beyond. You know, wh whether it's just saying like we've seen her counsel people where it's just like giving them that that come to jesus talk mm -hmm. of look you're you're in a bad spot yeah. here and this isn't about this this ambulance ride this is about changing your life and it's awesome just seeing what an impact these people can have and and knowing that they're out there in our communities well i like i like live pd but i feel like i've you know i like the show but i've seen cops yeah your you know, live rescue is something we've never seen mm -hmm. before. It is. So we, it's, it's we, being, it's being on a ride along with paramedics. It's being on a ride along with firefighters. One of our, one of our most memorable episodes was uh, about a month ago. There, there are wildfires going on in Southern California. And just as we go live in San Bernardino, our, the San Bernardino County fire department's pulling up and they go, Hey, we got reports of a wildfire. They pull up and you just see a wall of of it's unbelievable just this massive wall of flame in this wild, in this field but it's right next to a neighborhood so for two hours we're watching these firefighters and you see what they do you see the battalion chief going door to door evacuating people trying to get people out of there and some people aren't leaving and you see like hey i get it this is your castle but it's not just you they're spending time now 
trying to get all your neighbors out and trying to get pets out and trying to figure out how do we get water up on this hill and yeah. and watching as they're trying to save houses and power lines are coming down on them. And and you watch it, and they got this fire under control. Nobody was hurt. Three houses were destroyed. Mm. And it was unbelievable because 50 could have gone up. And, and it was awesome watching them do it. And it's just riveting when yeah. you see you know, cars just being engulfed and you see the power of fire up close and that these people are choosing to do this yeah. Yeah. is unbelievable. And also, mm -hmm. also the St. Louis connection here with the, you know, with St. Louis Fire Department. Um, whenever, you know, you guys cut to St. Louis, I go, ooh, 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 ooh. I've been, I, I've been there, I've been there, I've been no, there. And then I look for landmarks. I'm like, oh, they're in South City. Ooh, somebody got hit by a car in yeah. South City. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing. So in studio, I, I have two guys who, who, who join me in studio, and one of them is Garen Mosby, who's – who's uh, he's a captain, and he's the public information officer. So he's the guy, if you ever see them talking about a fire department, he's the guy. And he, I, I, we always have to point this out. He was in a firefighter's calendar. Uh, uh, yes. He was Mr. November. And nice. okay, I he's like, listen, this was before I discovered donuts. But <laughs> it, it's, it's awesome, you know, getting to be a part of a community and knowing it's happening in real time. Yeah. This is going on as we're sitting yeah. here on our couches. Yeah. Fascinating. I, I love the show, and uh, I, I think, you know, people love it too because it's – it's yeah, been great. I see a lot of tweets, and, and I see a that's lot of it. uh, it's, it's so, social media. You know, Ninja it. Warrior's been huge, but on, on any given Monday night, the amount of social media activity from people watching is 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 just beyond anything we've seen on Ninja Where and I think it's that live element of people sitting here going we're all watching this together. This is happening real time. And I think you know when you watch cops you always kind of said listen, I know this is recorded and edited. Nothing too crazy is going to happen cuz we would have heard about it. On this show you don't know. Have you guys had a cutaway ever? Yeah. Well, it, well, and there are times when, you know, we've we've had things where we were going to a car accident, and it was a nasty one, and then all of a sudden they're like, we're not going because the person didn't make it. And they don't want, they don't want, like a family could be watching yeah. and go, hey, that looks like our daughter's car, and discover it. So oh, there are certain things wow. where you're just like, hey, we're not going to do that. Wow, I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah what, it's, what was a gnarly thing you saw on the screen oh, where they were like, man, we, we're just not going to go? Well, to you know, we've had, we've had shootings, you know, where people are just bleeding and don't you don't know if you're going to make it and so you know they're they're the reality is because this is live it's 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 essentially the same as news you can pretty much put anything out there it's just we choose to try to be a little more sensitive you don't always make the right call um you know they we had a guy who uh using heroin mm -hmm. decides to sleep on train tracks oh no train runs him over loses both of his legs but lived uh -huh. they, they managed to save him but they're picking up his legs. And they had that, I mean, you didn't go to... No, it was, that was creative shooting of, okay, let's focus. You know, at that point, they're just going through, going, okay, can't use that, can't use that, can't use that. We, we don't want to put too much on. Right. But at the same time, you're like, talk about, you know, these first responders having to pull out everything oh, to try man, to save this geez, guy. Because, yeah. you know, that's massive bleeding going on and trauma and shock. Well, the fact and, that you guys got to make that call while it's live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. I don't so want to be. I don't you want have to be much the of a delay. We, you know, we got a delay that, that'll go down. Sometimes, you know, I think we've got it down to about thirty seconds. We try to leave a little more just for this reason, because <laughs> you want to be able to make make the right call and not kind of get caught with your pants down, proverbially. Mm -hmm. And and so it's, but it's it is. It, we when we go, you know, we'll we'll start we'll start looking at things. Um, uh, probably about an hour, hour and a half before we go live. And once you do, it's just you feel it's it's the adrenaline. It's yeah. live TV. Yeah. I mean, and that's you know for us too. We're watching stuff, and sometimes they're like, "Hey, you know, it's changing." There, someone's talking in my ear, yelling, "No, no, don't don't mention it. Yeah. We can't show that." Well, and what American Ninja else. Warrior? I mean, you yeah. shoot that. You know, we shoot it live to tape. But you, yeah, that's it. You know, you can always pick it up. And on this one, you're like, "No, yeah, it's, this is see your pants." This though. is see your don't don't yeah. say something that's going to cost man, you your job. Man. Hey, before we move on, this would be your uh, your third time on the Riz Show, so we got you a, a third timer. Oh my God! Come on! You got to be kidding me! Isn't that great? This there is like laser-crafted woodwork on this frame. Yeah, we're going to need the frame back. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Burke Kreischer had a photo of, of this similar thing. Yeah, he's not we're kidding. Gonna we're going to need, gonna need the frame back, but uh, you can keep what's inside. Oh, this my God, amazing. this frame is incredible. It's the coolest frame I've ever no, seen. I, really, I, really, I, really, I was kidding. looking at the frame just thinking I'd put that back. A, a photo oh. of, of me hugging you in there, Riz. Yes. <laughs> The only part you oh get to goodness. keep is the part we this printed out. That's all you get to keep. Yeah, that's, hey, that's third timers club. Look at this. It's, Congratulations. And it's a...
<laughs> it's a kid brushing his tooth with yep. a little yep. plaque on yep. top yep. of yeah, it. Is this a message? Yeah. It's the third timers club in the Hey Your Breath Stinks Club. <laughs> so you'll join the likes of uh, who's in the third other people club? that have done it. Uh, Nikki yeah. Glazer's uh, in the Ben third Bailey. Uh, ben yeah, Bailey. Ben Bailey. Oh wow. Wow, that's some elite company. Yeah, yeah, I know there's other people we forget. <laughs> oh, but I, you won't forget me, guys, because no, no, I'm no. stealing your frame. No, you're the I'm a, 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 so you could... a misdemeanor crime. <laughs> See you on live PD. Yeah. You know, last time, last time you were here, we talked about American Ninja Warrior and how you once tried out uh, to do... Why uh, you got to bring it up? Why you got to bring up my lowest we, moment? And we watched oh, the video, and yeah. then you basically, like, snapped your ankles. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Literally had to have surgery. I have pins in my feet from it. So in between the last time you were here and, and now, I guess there was another incident with Matt Eisman caught on tape. It's you walking the red carpet. Oh. Can I watch this one? Or just just watch up? the first part and tell me who you think of when I do this. Because so, you guys are of the era. You should get my reference here. Watch this. So kid. you're you're on a red yeah. carpet. It's what like was a, that? Anyone get oh, that? No. Um, That's Van Halen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Who's Diamond okay. David Lee Roth? All That's right. from the jump video. Okay. Um, so you're on the red oh, carpet. God. This is the NBC oh. event. Did you just want to stay on the other side? So, yeah. And, is this where catering is? <laughs> well, I, explain. Because so, people can't the, see the video. It's a red carpet. So the, the, what there are is instead of a wall, there are giant plastic sort of printout sheets that say NBC on them. So I do my massive leg kick where my feet are literally probably six or seven inches off the ground. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, it looked pretty good. And then I just lost my balance, started falling back. I go to put my hand on the wall, and it's just this vinyl thing, and I fall through it in front of 200 cameras. Yeah, you fall right through the NBC sign. And I come back probably two seconds later, but those two seconds, it was like seven years of debate went through my head of just the shame, that red-faced <laughs> burn of, come on, yeah. Who's the guy over there? That's, that's Akbar. Like, that's my co-host. Like co the look of noticed. disbelief. <laughs> Did you want to, like, just go right to your car? And go I wanted to just, that? like, sneak out and leave because you're just... But and, and I make a living as a jackass. I know. I'm, yeah, I don't take make myself sure seriously. I'm sorry. we got to post that video. I'll send so it over to, to, to Moon here. But go it ahead. is... Uh, yeah. It is... It was just one of those things where it's another reminder. I'm not athletic anymore. <laughs> I should just be in a wheelchair or something. Cause it was... <laughs> it's awful. And then you're tr you're trying to make jokes to cover it, and you're... And the fact that there's cameras oh. there, too. I mean, if it And be, it's I, on YouTube. I would go live right on. through the sun and then go right to my car. I should have. <laughs> or you and just I'll don't try to, to do school. a Diamond David Lee Roth double leg kick uh, on the red I carpet. I got exactly what you were doing. It, yeah. was, it was from the jump so, video. Yeah. And you, the double leg kick with the hands I gotta down say, the I, I honestly wish we could have had David Lee Roth in 1984 on Ninja Warrior. Because oh. that guy, yeah, he traded... <laughs> You know, I'll tell you all about it. I got a. I have a game that you guys should do. I, I've called it the the Rock Yell Challenge, where all you do is isolate yells from rock songs. Rock I, yeah, That's a yeah. Great idea. Running with the devil. That was running with. Yeah, where you you just got to identify the song from the yell, and you could great do idea. like Zeppelin. Uh, Phil Collins has some good ones, like put single syllables. Done. When you do, it send it to me, because I was telling this. We'll put it together. Idea. It's, it we'll is we'll a good one. We'll put it one. together. Right? Uh, like, you know who else is good is Sammy Hagar. Like, uh, right now, hey! <laughs> You're to <Yeah>. my... <laughs> <laughs> David Lee Roth. We don't mention... Uh, you guys already... We don't mention Diamond. Uh, you know, we only hey, mention Diamond. there's no Van Hagar. Hagar. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Even you guys. Time out. that right now. You know what? Sammy Hagar is a legend in this city. He is. Is he? Oh, for some reason... I got I got oh to meet him at, at a charity event, and I I won an auction where I got to go on stage with Sammy, and I was, it was a couple beers in, mm -hmm. and I I just kept trying to sing in his microphone. He put me in a headlock and then had them take me <laughs> off, it. and I was like, perfect, perfect. Hey, are you are you doing the cameo thing? Are you on yes. cameo? Yes. If you guys don't know what cameo is, it's a it's a website you go to and you have celebrities. You pay you know X amount of money, and you have celebrities kind of. Uh, send you messages. You could send somebody else a yeah. message. So you're on Cameo. I am. Did you see Mark McGrath's? Yes, that's what up. I want to bring up. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago, uh, somebody paid Mark McGrath to break up with with a with a boyfriend. Yes. Yes. Who was a big Sugar Ray fan, apparently. Correct. And uh, who was studying for his PhD and had his exam coming up the next day. Uh, yeah. The so next was, day. So it was Mark McGrath <laughs> breaking up with this dude. After this chick paid him on Cameo to do that, has anybody asked you to do that? No, not to break up. Somebody asked me to help them quit their job, 
And so Bam Margera and I did this video. And, and, and I'm doing it. I'm reading it going, I think this is a, I think it's a joke. I think it's one of my friends doing it. And I, so I, I do it. And then I see, like, a, this news channel in New York has the story how we helped this guy quit his job. I'm like, oh, my God. What did I just do? <laughs> yes. I made this guy help this guy make a bad life decision because he burned some bridges going out. Where I was like talking to his boss, like Gary, you ever wonder why people quit? Because they don't like working for you. <laughs> yes. We played yesterday some audio. Uh, a guy went into a Starbucks. I guess he quit his job. He made a song and he and he sang the song at Starbucks, like you know, f this job and f you to the boss. There are some creative ways to quit. Yeah, there are. You know, and, and but but again, you also got to think, hey man, go out like a champion, burn those bridges. But what do you think the next job is going to do? Like, are we really going to hire Steve? Yes. Yeah. Steve well, just torched yeah. his boss. Yeah. And got Who's your last boss? Can I, million can I give him a call real quick? Yeah. Listen, yeah, listen sure. to this. This is a this is a reporter in Alaska. So I guess she got into the cannabis business. So and she's oh. on a, she's on a uh, she's on she's a reporter on a, right. on a news station. This is her quitting on the air. Listen. Now everything you heard is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but. I quit. On the air. All right, we apologize for that. <laughs> that's always fun when they come back to you in studio, like cover for this. Oh, oh that's Susie. She's a cut up. Here's a guy. Here's a guy that brought a marching band with him. This is the greatest. Oh wow! This is I my think favorite. This guy works at a hotel, mm -hmm. so he's in the bowels of the hotel. He he finds the boss and brings the marching band with him. There he is. Guys, what is this? Guys, all of you out right now. Jared, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. I just picture him like with that drum major. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it goes. Going quick! Going quick! Going quick! Going quick! That style. You know what? That one I love. I love that one because a marching man, you can't help but feel it's like celebratory. Oh. And it's also just a big F you to the boss because it's so loud and so annoying. The boss is going to be like, I can't get these people out. And you just go out. And then there's probably the, like an hour later and you come down and you go, now, now what? I just yeah. I just spent yeah. five hundred dollars on a marching band. I'm yeah, broke. now I gotta I go got to no Starbucks job. and get a job. <laughs> I got no job. Uh, That's good though. Le leave on it. Leave on a note. I I, I I could see that. M my last girlfriend broke up with me, and she just did it. I would have been like, if she had a marching band, I would be like, you know what? I, I feel a little better about this yeah. now. Have you <laughs> ever been fired band. from a job? Uh, fire. I don't know. If, you know, I mean, it's TV. You definitely shows end. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think I've been fired so much as well. We're just not bringing you yeah. back. We're not, I'm fired? No, you're not fired. We, it was like an office space. We fixed the glitch. You yeah. Just, you know, you're, you're gone. No, but, uh, show, you know, shows have been canceled, yeah. and, and that's always fun. We, I remember, so I did a show, Clean House, with Nisi Nash, who's mm -hmm. from St. Louis. And w the final, we got, we, we, we were picked up through October. In August, our boss comes out to set. Uh, on like the a house is seven days of filming. He's on day two and he goes, guys, I have some bad news. And this is so hard for me to tell you, but you're fired. Huh? And I'm like, wait, did you just say this is hard for you? Like <laughs> you're, telling you're us getting right back into job. your Cadillac Escalade to go back to your job and you're firing us. And he made it all about him. I was like, it made me so mad. I didn't even get mad about being fired. I was just like, screw that guy. Mm -hmm. Clean house was a great show. By it the way. was. I you were on that. Yeah. Nisi it Nash was, is funny. She's They're bringing back Reno 911, it. too. Yeah. Reno 911, Claws, she just got nominated for When They See Us. Like, she's nominated for yeah, a Golden she's awesome. Globe. She's she's killing it. And she's she's going to bring me along. I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you got your own. I'm still going stuck on. hosting reality own. TV. No, no and, it's great. And, and you're I love doing, it. you're hosting a uh, New Year's, or you're part of the New Year's celebration I've for been, NBC? Yeah, I've been doing New cool. Year's. I've been doing, what else? We I got a game show coming out, a podcast game show that's coming out in February called Factorious. And uh, hopefully people will will listen to that. And that that was a blast. It was so much fun playing games with people. And we did fifty episodes in like eight days. And it was just it's it's a because they they were really like do whatever you want, have have fun. We want this to be fun. Mm -hmm. So I had I just had a blast. And I love I'm super competitive with game shows. And it was awesome. It was Man, awesome. You, you are doing people. everything. I mean, yeah. doing, I mean, American Ninja Warrior, the live rescue thing. You got this podcast thing going. You're doing something for for New Year's. It's it's really. I, 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 you, I, are you taking a break for Christmas? No. Well, I, I'm I'm I go to New York on Sunday. We'll do live rescue. Uh, so St. Louis, you can. 
can tune or is it in Hanukkah? on Monday. I don't know. Hanukkah? No, no, it's it's Christmas, but I'm gonna be I'm going to Germany with my brother and his wife. She's from Germany. Then I'm going to Denver with my parents for Christmas. Um, and then it's like Napa, uh, New York. Wow. I'm going to Austria with Schwarzenegger in what? January. Wow. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Schwarzenegger. That's Arnold. a name. Arnold. Arnold. It wasn't like Larry Schwarzenegger. Where no, he just no his son Patrick is now a movie star. Yeah. He's got his own movies, but I, I, I prefer Arnold. <laughs> Come on, get in the private jet. Let's go to Austria. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. You know, speaking of game shows, I want to do. I do want to play a little, uh, a little, a little Q and A quiz thing with. Oh, me. let's do it. All right. This is all about. Uh, do I have to give back the frame if I lose? Uh, oh, you have to give it back. Either you way. better do good at this because this is American Ninja Warrior trivia. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. And this I found online. So this is actual. American Ninja okay. Warrior trivia. Oh, boy. With the host of American Ninja Warrior. Oh, my God. Let's see how you do no. with this. <laughs> I am nervous now. I'm nervous you for should you. should be. Uh, name the four ninjas who have been on every season of American Ninja Warrior. Uh, it's Ryan Stratus, Brian Kretsch, David Campbell, and Lorne Ball. <laughs> Our OG ninjas. You keeping score, uh, Jeff? Yeah, that's one right. Okay. That's four right. Do I get four points? <laughs> Give me four. You're bigger than me. You got four points. Yeah. <laughs> Barkley Stockett was the shortest competitor to scale the 14 and a half foot warped wall. How tall is she? And what She's, season did she do it in? She did it um, two seasons ago. So this is 11. So it was season nine she did it. And she is, she 5'1 or 5 feet? I think she's 5 feet. Casey Catanzaro at five feet was the first woman, the shortest woman up the 14-foot wall. I remember that name. She was pretty yeah. awesome. All right, three ninjas have finished the rope climb at uh, Mount Midoriyama in American Ninja Warrior. Who were they in the order they finished? Uh, so I can't remember how we aired it. Jeff Britton was first uh -huh. in 29 seconds. Then Isaac Caldero did it in 26 seconds. And this year, Drew Dreschel did it in 29 seconds. Yeah. It's like I'm there. There's also a movie about three ninjas. It's pretty good. Yeah. Excellent movie. Excellent I movie. prefer American Ninja with uh, Michael Dudikoff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the that was Michael a good one. I like the Beverly Michael Hills Ninja. I do, too. With, uh, was that Farley? Yes. Farley. Uh, Why are you pointing who was, at me? Why are you pointing at me when you said Farley? Because I was uh, he's trying to remember the name. over there. And you're the most great core, isn't okay. uh, Who was the first woman to qualify for Vegas by hitting a buzzer? Uh, Casey Catanzaro. Okay. She got into wrestling, didn't she? She is in the WWE. Yeah. I think actually she's she just retired. Crazy athletic. Yeah. She just retired. She was, she she got was an all American gymnast at Towson yeah. University. And she's a stud. What is the name of the Alaskan town the Eskimo ninja? Uta Lakleet. You got that. Right. Uta Lakleet. Nick Hansen. And he made us eat Akatuk, which is Eskimo ice cream, which is, I, I, I think it's caribou dung. It oh. is awful. Oh, man. Spell Akbar's last name. Okay. G B A J A B I A M I L A. I'll take your word for it. I hope, I hope the next question is say it. No, the next question this is a tough one, probably the toughest one. Matt Eisman wasn't always a comedian, host, and actor. What career did he start with? Uh, window washer, then doctor. <laughs> I'll accept doctor slash internal medicine. <laughs> Uh, name the Japanese show that American Ninja Warrior is based off of. Sasuke. What's Flip Rodriguez's real first name? David. Name two of the five women who have been a sideline reporter for the show. <laughs> uh, so Allison Hayslip, uh, Angela Sun, uh, Jen Brown, uh -huh. Christine Leahy, and now Zuri Hall. It's almost as if he works on the show. Right? Yeah. Are yeah. you paying attention while you're oh in the office? Oh, my God. Thank God, thank God I've gotten a few of these right. Who was the first woman to beat stage one in Vegas? Uh, Jesse Graf. She's the best. She is. She's in Wonder Woman. She's, she's a stunt person in Wonder Woman 1984, which looks awesome. You've never seen right. her go yes! through this? Right. Oh, my God. God. I, was so, I would have felt so right. bad if a ninja was like, you Got didn't get right. my question. <laughs> you don't know me. We still need the frame back. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt Eisman I, is Riz, That was as bone. nervous as I've ever been I on a radio <laughs> show. And I saw your face. Because I'm just like, it. people are going to be so disappointed if I get these wrong. You know, as I was writing the quiz up this morning, I went, <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, see, ask Bert Kreischer, because as much as he drinks, he wouldn't remember his kids' names. Yeah, I can't remember what happened <laughs> an hour before. Uh, Matt Eisman is at Funny Bone tonight and tomorrow, 7.30 and 9.30, uh, both nights. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes or no? Yes. 
It's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. No. Ooh, he gave me yeah, the It's the hat. Nakatomi Christmas party. Okay, just because... Hey, here, here it is. Okay. What's the, the guy Christmas <laughs> meaning? Where's the Christmas meaning? Hey, the meaning is you take over a building with a cop in it. You're going down, pal. That was my bad Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> yippee ki <-yay>, Santa Claus. <laughs> Listen, what, what else are you going to watch at Christmas? You can watch It's a Wonderful Life and Elf so many times. Of I can watch Die Hard in June. I can't watch uh, other Christmas movies in June. I can watch Die Hard in the middle of June and be yeah. fine with it. Yeah, because it's a Christmas Rudolph movie that transcends. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's don't limit it. Don't paint now it Now i got to look up what transcends means. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much for coming. I out. appreciate it, It's a it, pleasure. Guys. Thank you. Third timer now, Matt Eisman. We are really going to need that frame. Yeah. <laughs>